Hey guys, Trout Flies here from the Middle Provo. We're going to be chasing the drakes today. We're going to start off your nymphing, and once it gets a little higher, we're going to start prospecting with green drake dries. I hope it's pretty awesome. All right, let's start off by getting some water temps. Feels coldish, not ice cold. Fifty-four. That'll work. We should be able to fish through the day. So I'm gonna start off with my Euro stick before we start prospecting around with dries. Uh, you know, if we can get this whole rig untangled. I'm trying out the Ross Colorado on my Euro stick today on my Shadow X. We're wet waiting. I've got a Green Drake nymph and a Bunny Royale on the dropper. Green drapes on point. There's already a hot walk out here, so what waiting feels pretty good. So what I've got on here is essentially a drake sized version of my infallible mayfly. Just to see if we can move something. There we go. Got big whitey. Giant white fish. <laughs> Side pressure, this is not a small one. Took the bunny, it looks like. I could eventually swing him over to this softer water. I don't want him going downstream on me here. That would be pretty bad. Oh, I think I got him fouled. That's why I can't turn him. And he's gonna go downstream on me. No.
That's a disaster. See if I can fight him here. Nope. Oh, that's not great. Got him in the back, so he just will not turn. Let's see if I can find him in the slow stuff. Be okay if you popped off, buddy. No. Come on. Head up. There we go. Okay, let's take him back up. All right. Not how we dialed it up, but big whitefish to start the day. Almost ready. There you guys. All right, so I've tied on a little CDC X Caddis here, like a tan size 12. See if we can get some fish to come up for this. Skate it a little bit. Oh yeah, so sweet. Nice. All right, on the caddis. Cool. All right, now we can do our little CDC trick here. Yes! On the caddis. Got my line out of the way here. It's kind of wrapped around my net.
Nice. And the top down. Perfect. It's a little brown. Oh, we got him. That's this bees flying around me. Size down the X caddis. Picked up the fish that was rising, huh? Put on the 14, the other one was a 12. It's not fall, fell here last year. Oh, we fell. Okay. Ow. Not ideal. If I can jump up ahead of this log here. Nice. Kind of glad I brought this three weight. It's gonna be Caddis. X Caddis doing work. So I've seen one splashy rise in this run. I've just kind of been watching and waiting to see if I see a few more fish moving. I see a beaver swimming around. That's a big one too. That's not good for the fishing. Anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting to see if we see some more heads. Kind of want to save this one and the next one for the drakes. It's around like 1025, 1020. So I expect it to start picking up in the next half hour or so. Anyways, I'm just kind of a little reluctant to go in and kind of blow through here without like, you know, peak activity. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit, especially now that that beaver swam diagonally through the run. Yep, there we go. Came up and ate the drake. Okay, maybe it's starting. Oh, 
Came out perfect. Keep it from getting dunked too bad. A little so er, infallible Mayfly style. Drake. Got a hook keeper on this rod, right? Yep. Little guy, but he ate it. Oh, there he goes. All right, I'm seeing a few heads come up in here. Might be the same fish multiple times, but I'm gonna throw the little bit uh, lower profile Drake. See, so yeah, that's a different fish than before. So let's see if we can get one to come up right in front of us here. There's a drake. It's a big sucker. So they are hatching, just not in huge numbers. Which is a little bit of a bummer. It's not like last year. Now maybe it'll ramp up a bit in the next half hour or so. See, they're out. I definitely see them. Man, they just like not keyed into them or something. Am I really gonna have to go through here and nymph? Damn, maybe I'm just bad at fishing. There we go. It's a nice fish. Pick the caddis. It's fighting hard. Definitely have him in the mouth. There we go. Oh. Well, that's not good. A decent one. We're nymphing during a green gray patch. It seems. Okay. Love off for now. Took my little flashy net builder. Not a super big one, but it's nice and he's uh, angry. Oh, stonefly's coming off. There we should go like caddis stone. It's okay. Alright, I changed up flies. One with the smaller caddis and a stone. Ooh, as a fish.
There we go. On the caddis. And it's all wrapped up now. Great. Little guy. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay. It's a big guy. And get him into this calmer water. Yeah. It's a good fish. It's like 18. On the caddis again. Blowing up my rig. Let's see if I can. Nope. Okay. Cool. So I'm fishing here with Jameson today. He met me for half a day. Just gonna see if we can pull some fish out of this run. Oh, going to come up. Missed it. Oh, one showed himself up there. There we go. Oh. That's a big one. That's a big brown. Oh, decent, not giant. <laughs> On the caddis. Thought it was bigger than this. Come on. Show the camera. Cool. As we watch the last two fish eclipses of the day, I just kind of want to give my thoughts. Um, you know, I thought we hit the drakes with pretty good timing. They were obviously hatching. The fish just weren't on them. They were coming up for caddis, and we did catch a few on caddis drives, but... I was kind of disappointed. I was expecting it, you know, the fish just to be gorging themselves on drakes, and they weren't. I guess there's always next year. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like it down below. And if you want to keep following my adventures in Utah, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.